Remember, be focused and don't let the mom guilt distract you from your goal. What's up besties? I don't even know why I'm starting this vlog. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to keep up with it, but we are on the way to a play date, which is super exciting. We have a play date with, play date, a play date with Shan from Bless you. Um, the owner of the company Mom Saves and the blogger for you, baby and I. She's gonna be bringing her two kiddos with three she actually has three i don't know if she's gonna be bringing all three of them and i'm mega excited because i get to go out the house i just noticed i have 11 minutes of recording time in this sd card i don't even know what happened to my memory i think i forgot to format it and usually if i don't format before i start the vlog then i can't really format because i already started the vlog which means i'm gonna lose the footage from the other one so it's a vicious cycle I'm here with my two kiddos more like three kiddos we'll probably finish the vlog at home because i don't know what the setup's gonna be like we've both never been to this place that we're going to so we'll see but Let's go. Did you show daddy a tattoo? Mm -hmm. Did you have fun though? Mm -hmm. You did? What did you say when you saw us playing? I was like, look at this girl making friends. Mm -hmm. And you know how you always say, I'm shy. I'm shy. Who's not shy now? Me. Mm -hmm. Mama, mm -hmm. we were playing tag. You were? Mm -hmm. And then he died his brother was trying to catch us oh yeah you guys were playing really nicely i've been sitting here for probably like two hours or so nope almost two hours and i just edited a vlog which is awesome i'm trying to figure out if i should combine this vlog with this footage that i'm vlogging right now because i don't think i had enough footage for today but this is already like 11 minutes and 48 seconds long i don't know but regardless, I have to stop the editing because my laptop is dying for one and we don't have power. Load shedding. So I'm just going to leave this here and then, I don't know, we'll pick it up later. I'll see what I do. Thank goodness I'm done. I'm going to go ahead and sit down and try to eat my food. It's probably cold and gross right now, but I am hungry. It's funny because when we were at the restaurant with Shan, I was starving, but then I ordered food and I just couldn't stomach my food for some weird reason. So I just ate the chips and then I ate like probably like two bites of my burger and then I just took takeout peanut, ate his tummy blue literally which was amazing i ordered him from the adults menu instead of like the kids menu i always do that because you know you can take home some of that i ordered him and alfredo he went ham on that plus he ate some of my beef patty and the chips so he was really full so we can warm that up a bit later and then he can have it that is dinner because he really enjoyed it cables of bunny did the whole make your own pizza thing and she ate a good bit of that but she still took some two slices home so that's that i'm gonna sit down and eat this cables of bunny is taking a nap peanut is taking a nap he's probably just about to wake up i didn't check if we scheduled for let me maybe do that yep we were scheduled from 12 until half past four stage two they say i don't even know what that means 30 more minutes and then the power should be back hopefully but regardless i'm gonna eat my food because i don't even know how i would warm this up we don't have a microwave so i might as well just eat it now while i'm hungry well that wasn't so bad it was actually quite yummy now let's check up on the kiddos Still killed. Probably should wake her up because she's gonna struggle to sleep later. Nope. So well, that's that. People's money is waking up. I need her to wake up actually because it's almost half past four right now. The power just came back, which is awesome. But I need her to wake up purely because she's going to struggle to sleep later. And if she doesn't sleep well later, it means she's going to be tired in school tomorrow. We cannot have that happen. Peanut is still KO'd. That's fine. Home guy can sleep for hours. He's probably going to wake up at his usual 5 p.m. And then just take him to the park or something so that he can, she, more than him, can work up her energy and get some sleep later. In the meantime, I'm just going to veg out on this couch and 
wait it out. <laughs> you guys, I just found this little thing that I keep my Instax mini pictures in. Like, because all of my albums are full and I don't have space because I take all that many pictures. And oh my gosh, I'm looking at all these pictures. In fact, I found it because I was trying to put away these two pictures. This is Peanut's first day back at school this year. This little one is he was Bunny's first day of great art, of grade one, not great art. Do you remember that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I'm finding all of these pictures. Oh my gosh! I didn't realize I took an instant picture on this day. I honestly didn't realize. <laughs> And there it is. Look, when you lost your first tooth. <laughs> right? That's cute little bunny. When she lost her first tooth, she's actually pointing to it. Oh my goodness, look at baby peanut. Look at baby peanut at 10 weeks. It's coming off dark on there. I'm not sure why, but it's not necessarily that dark. This was on the 19th of Jan, 2019. Wow. This was taken on the day we we're going to PE. This is so cool. You guys, this is why I always take Polaroids or instant pictures or whatever you want to call it. They bring it back memories right now. These are all the Polaroid pictures that I have that don't have space. I've got these two albums here, but they're both full. So there's pretty much no space anymore. While I'm standing here, I'm actually thinking I should do... Wow, that was loud. I should do this one thing while Peanut is sleeping because if I do it when he's awake, it's gonna be a problem. And what I'm talking about is getting rid of these little babies because you know what? Peanut is officially off the bottle and I couldn't be happier. He's weaned. He doesn't care for it anymore. He doesn't even look for it. He doesn't... He basically just doesn't care anymore. And I'm so happy because I honestly thought it was gonna be such a struggle to get him off the bottle because homegirl was starting to get attached. And I was like, uh, no, mm -mm. Especially because I know that he doesn't need to be drinking off the bottle. Like he can still drink milk, just not off the bottle. So it is time. I put up a post on Instagram, on my Instagram stories. I think it was the first night he went to bed without his bottle and i thought it was gonna be harder but he wasn't even bothered and then a week later i said he's officially weaned and people were like how did you do it how did you do it please give some tips to be honest i am a cold turkey kind of mom i like to go all in like if i do it i do it that's it i don't like try it and then let it go and then try it again because i feel like it's too much torture for the kids especially if your kid is too attached to the bottle i would advise anybody to go cold turkey because it doesn't prolong the pain like you don't it, it's not torturous for the poor kid i'm gonna put the camera here because my hand is getting tired even though peanut was not necessarily like mega attached to the bottle i knew like i could just tell he was sort of getting used to it in the morning he'd wake up and the first thing he did when he saw us come in was to like lift his hand to sort of like give me the bottle kind of thing in the night he wasn't necessarily bothered but just doing that i realized whoa this is creating a sort of a bad habit at first honestly i was gonna do it slowly take out the morning one and leave the night one and eventually take out the night one but i realized that he didn't need it so i think the one thing that really really worked magic was to keep him distracted we sort of change his routine instead of giving him the bottle in the morning he brushes his teeth instead which is something that he really really liked and then after brushing his teeth he will have breakfast like cereal porridge whatever it's being served for breakfast rice that crispy. morning rice crispies and then drink milk or water and basically just get on with the day he drinks from a sippy cup not like a bottle in the night he will have his dinner with water get him full give him a bath go to bed there was one day when he was just not having it he would not even look at a bowl of breakfast all he wanted was milk and on that day i gave in i gave him the milk and he was happy chappy again but it was just that one time and we haven't had anything since so another thing out of sight and make sure it's forgotten. If you win in your baby, make sure you keep the bottles out of sight. They've been in this cupboard since that day and they haven't been out until today and Peanut hasn't seen them at all. I even make sure that he doesn't see the milk because he knows the box of the milk. When we give him milk, we give him the normal full cream cow's milk, not necessarily the Pamela growth milk. So yeah, that's basically what I did. Go cold turkey and uh, out of sight and make sure it's forgotten. If you are not the cold takey kind of mom and you want to feel bad for your kid maybe do it slowly but honestly i feel like in the long run especially if your kid is attached it's going to be more torturous for the kid than it would be if you went cold turkey because kids forget quickly and as long as you give them distractions it diverts their attention and before you know it it doesn't even bother them anymore if you want to do it that way great go for it all the best remember be focused and don't let the mom guilt distract you from your goal honestly i feel like as parents we are more attached than our kids are half the time actually more than half the time we stop ourselves from doing things because we think 
it's gonna do something to the kid but in fact the kid couldn't even be bothered we are the problem get the emotions out of it yes be understanding recognize that it might be difficult for your child but also recognize that it needs to be done I would advise you to do it over the weekend purely because in case the kid wakes up in the night you want to be able to sort of wake up with them and be patient with them and give them hugs and cuddles without stressing about work the next day anywho I have a bouncy bear right here she's bouncing on a yoga ball surely this dumpling must be awake Hello, hello, hello. Hello. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Let's put you in your nappy. We're going to use this owl. Sister used to call owl a hoot hoot for a long time. Thank you. Look how cute little Mr. Peanut's onesie is. It says caution, teething. The shark. Because they bite, they bite, they bite, they bite. Yes, they do. Yes, you do. Are you making orange? Are you dripping juice, orange juice everywhere? Are you going to ask for more? Okay, bye bye. More. 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 Go ask for more from sister. You must say more, please. It looks like our trip to go to the park has failed, which I'm completely fine with because I'm actually botched right now. He was the one who requested to watch Turbo and I'm like, yes girl. So that's what she's doing. She's watching Turbo. It is 16 minutes after 6 p.m. right now. I'm actually thinking I should just go ahead and wash my face and just try to relax and lie down. Probably edit this vlog, get them both uploaded and scheduled for the week so I don't have to stress about that during the week. And then pretty much just sit back and relax hi i swear ever since peanut started walking he walks anywhere he never wants to sit down that's probably why he sleeps so nice too see see you what you can't chew on the orange thingy thank you okay thank you thank you Anywho, I think that's gonna be it for this vlog. Thumbs up if you watched this far and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Until then, we'll catch you besties on our next video. Bye besties.